my friends what is going on welcome back to the channel uh, just got back from the Bahamas so sorry if you only follow me on YouTube um, that's why I've been MIA for about the past 10 days or so um, real quick before we get started with the video you guys know the deal I'm not a financial advisor everything I say is for educational and entertainment purposes only at the end of the day I want you always making the decision that is best for you and your portfolio because you're gonna be the one who is stuck with it at the end of the day uh, so make the best decision that you possibly can I uh, wanted to jump in here let's make an update real quick on AMC as far as what I'm seeing um, it's a little bit late in the evening so I'll try to keep this as short as I can if you haven't done so already please follow me on Twitter, Colin underscore Gladman. Easiest way to get you know up to date with everything that I'm going to be doing, um, which I am. I posted yesterday uh, kind of some details about what I'm going to be doing for my Discord. So if you guys are into Discords, um, it's my pinned tweet on my Twitter profile. Please go check that out. Um, right now it is currently full, but I'm current, but I'm also taking uh, people on the wait list in case you know some people fall, uh, you know fall off the bandwagon, if you will, uh, once we actually get it started. Hopefully should be up and ready to rock and roll by Monday of next week. But anyway, let's jump into the chart. So um, I tweeted out yesterday um, basically a little bit of a scenario of what might happen today. And unfortunately, it was the downside scenario, but it played out very well. So um, if we come over here and we do a fib uh, from our low that happened um, back over here on May the 12th um, and then of course we had our top over here when we ran a little bit over 16 on May 31st um, so we pretty much had a perfect 786 bounce obviously it was just an awful ugly day in the market in general uh, we gapped down at the open um, and then and then had a slow steady climb the rest of the day uh, pretty much what I said is if we do see any type of downward pressure selling pressure we want it to be on very low volume let's check the volume for today I'll be honest I didn't even look at that yet so we were at 27 uh, million shares traded in volume so that's great that's very low um, basically anything other uh, excuse me anything other under 50 million shares traded for AMC, I consider pretty low volume. So um, we had the 786 bounce, had a nice bullish reaction on that. Now, overall, the volume stayed pretty low the rest of the day. Now, tomorrow, what I think is going to be our most likely scenario is we are going to see a little bit of overall market relief rally um, because today was so bad leading up to the interest rate hike uh, decision from the Fed, um, which is going to be happening on Wednesday. Day. Um, if you followed my channel long enough, uh, myself and some other people on Twitter, we've always talked about how overall the market doesn't like uncertainty. And right now there's just a lot of uncertainty with inflation um, and everything that's going on in the economy, the war in Russia, everything that's going on over there, uh, locking up the supply chains, things of that nature. So there's just a lot of uncertainty. And so people, you know, there's a lot of scared money out there. Um, and so the bears are just, you know, feasting right now. So a couple scenarios that we could have here. The only thing that makes me nervous of what I'm looking at is this to me potentially could be a bear flag okay and so what a bear flag would look like is you have this big push down and then you kind of have a weak relief rally on relatively low volume and then you get another big push down okay so i do think we see upside tomorrow um if that upside tomorrow is still really weak volume um you know we want to be cautious going into wednesday um as far as you know what the interest rate but I do think even if the interest rate hike is worse you know I, I kind of put out or tweeted out a poll today you know what do you guys think in the most in the two most common answers were you know 50 basis points and 75 basis points I'll be honest I don't really know what I think but I think everybody's so shaken up about what the economy is looking like right now that it wouldn't be surprising to me if they were a little bit more dovish than hawkish and they kind of postponed some interest rate heights but you know there's also the argument that that's really you know one of the few ways that we can start getting inflation under control so um, you know when you just don't know, you just don't know. And right now, I just don't know, okay? I would be leaning more towards the 50-point the um, hike. And if that happens, then I see. I think we might see a, a real 
you know, push towards the upside after that. Um, and then, of course, if it's way worse than what we think, then we're going to see, you know, a real push to the downside. But I think even if we see a big push to the downside, then once the market kind of settles in and the market kind of digests that information, then we will start, um, you know, seeing a push back to the upside after that. So, I tweeted out last night, we want to see a 786 bounce or a worst case scenario, a $10.30 bounce um, to make that double bottom down here. Um, but as long as we keep maintaining, so what I'm looking for right now overall is are we maintaining that, you know, that, that higher low the entire time? Uh, it would have been nice right here if we got a higher high, but you can see, you know, we had this uh, moment right here where we came up to about 13 and then we pushed up before coming right back down then pushed up again so you know if this is kind of you know just gaining some energy and, and once again we are just tracking with the overall market right now and the overall market is just awful it's been one of the worst starts in history uh, for the stock market for 2022 so um, I think that's why we're seeing you know such a such an issue and, it, and when you come back here to March when the market really saw some rallying going on, then you saw AMC bust all the way back up here to 34. So I do think that no matter what, once we get out of the bear market, I think somewhere in that 25 to 35 dollar range is a very fair market value for AMC. So for me personally, this isn't a bad time to buy just because it is a, I, I think fundamentally right now, not just AMC, I think a lot of stocks are getting hammered right now uh, just because you know it's been awful since November and the inflation and, and once again what I've already talked about. So that's gonna be overall what I'm looking for. So a push up here, you know, towards twelve dollars tomorrow. Be interesting to see what happens around the six one eight and the six five. If we start, you know, if we see a push up all day, we start coming up here. If we do start to get rejected, then I think we gotta be ready for you know more downside. But um, if we push up with strong volume or especially if we break over the 618 around that 1217 level you know then then I would feel you know pretty good about it um, overall indicator wise if we look at the RSI very oversold um, and this is where I tweeted out this morning also, too, thank you guys. I uh, realized I went over 4,000 YouTube subscribers, um, so thank you for liking and subscribing uh, to the channel. But I opened up, um, I sold some puts this morning on AMC. I mean, pretty much right here, if we go to the 15-minute RSI, I'll show you why this bad boy right here I knew we would get a relief bounce um, and so I think once again they were already up by like 25 percent towards the end of the day uh, I'm going to be watching them because if we push up here on low volume I will be getting out of them at that point in time so just looking to collect some premium create dry powder so overall you know we still got room to push up and I think that's most likely we push up here to this $12 range and then we want to see really what's going on. So that's pretty much everything that I'm going to be looking for tomorrow. Um, once again, last but not least, if you're interested in joining my Discord, it is full right now, but please go to my Twitter page, read my tw pinned tweet, um, and reach out to me through DMs um, if you have any questions or anything along those lines. But that's going to be everything for right now. So for tomorrow, Upside, I'm looking for a push up to that $12 range. If with the overall market kind of, you know, if we sort of see a relief rally tomorrow, I, I think that's going to be very reasonable. Um, and honestly, I, I would be surprised. I, I think flat to upside are our most likely scenarios. I would be kind of surprised if we see a downside uh, today, tomorrow. So I'm looking for kind of flat or relief rally uh, tomorrow. Maybe even possibly a gap fill up here up to the $12.34 range. So if we saw a decent push up in the morning, we got that gap fill and then started turning down um, towards the end of the day. I think that's probably most likely scenario, but we'll see how it goes. So feel free, um, please like, please subscribe, all that good stuff to the video. Um, let me know in the comments what you're thinking interest rate wise. Um, like I said, the most common uh, that I saw on Twitter today was either 50 point or 75. Um, and, and we'll see. I think Wednesday is going to be a big day for what we see, you know, going forward on the market. So that'll probably be my next video um, is going to be on Wednesday. But like I said, at the end of the day, uh, do what's best for you. And I'll catch you next time on the channel.
Appreciate you guys. Have a good one.